Hey guys, in our previous video, we explored uh, Insight Advisor at a high level. So today, let's get into detail of it. So we have this logical model and vocabulary to support the Insight Advisor, right? So let us see what is the, uh, let us explore the logical model, okay? So, so within logical model, we have these uh, sub tabs, okay? So these are all the key uh, contributors uh, where you have to define uh, for the logical data model to work. So we have the fields and groups, uh, we have packages, hierarchies, behavior, calendar periods, etc. Okay, so in this overview sheet, right, you see the high level uh, information about this logical uh, data model, this metadata. So how many fields are there and how much is visible, how much is hidden, um, do we have any groups created or any behaviors, hierarchies, uh, packages, calendars, right. So whatever is defined over here we'll say a high level overview here in this overview page okay so every time you create a dashboard and you reload this metadata will be automatically created or okay so to start with let me uh, reset this to the default one okay so it's going to recreate the entire uh, logical model so we could see these are the informations no packages created so it has created two hierarchies and three behaviors on its own. So yeah, it has created some hierarchies, some behaviors. There is no um, package, no calendar period, but but it has created some fields and groups. Okay. So let's quickly have a look at this uh, groups. So groups are like uh, uh, like what how we have dimension and facts in our data model, right? It is similar to it. So we could see uh, click click has automatically created these groups so office is one group uh, category supplier product customer order header and we also see the master dimensions this date has been captured under dimension and this employee okay employee is actually separated into two so it, what it has done is it has captured all the dimension and dates into a separate employee uh, group and it has captured all these measure parts into another employee group okay so we will try to club this uh, measure part into our master measures okay here so that we will have a combined measure and then we, i could see this particular field is actually coming from master calendar but this has been since it is a number it has been treated as a measure but ideally it should be present over here okay okay let's see how to do that so first we have to ungroup it so it, this field is tied to this group right so let me first ungroup this okay now let me rename this as master calendar and the field ungrouped is now available to be added to any group so i will add this to the master calendar group okay and this field months ago is not a measure i'll probably give it as month okay and it's not going to be some not specified so what we do here is see for every field we have these parameters uh, let's say um, category name okay so do we want this field to be visible or not and that's what it, this visibility says okay whether either visible or hidden and what is this field is it the dimension or a measure or a calendar or boolean country or whatever so we are just giving more information more metadata about this field to the logical model so that the chatbot can understand better right so what type of data it is dealing with so these are the addi additional informations we are giving and data value lookup yes or no so when i query Okay, so let's say if I ask for show me sales for uh, a specific category, sportswear or uh, footwear, then it has to go and look into the category field and get me the specific value, right? So that's what this uh, data value lookup does. So when I say yes, it can look up the value into it. Or I can ask for a specific value, right? Show me sales for the year 2015. Then it has to go into the year field and look for 2015 so this uh, value lookup can do that okay so i am enabled to the s for this category and there is no default aggregation uh, if it is a measure so if i go to master uh, measures 
so these are my measures okay which is already defined or any other value say sales is there if, if it is not part of master item then i can define it okay this is the default aggregation every time i query something for sales always go with some that's the default okay and uh, yeah here you could see it is marked visible it's a measure classified as a measure there is no lookup over here and it is some okay so so this is what we do over here in this fields and groups okay so let me also make changes to this employee yeah so this extension is not required for our analysis i will simply ungroup it and these two annual salary and sales target i will ungroup from here i will move it to the uh, under master or measures okay so now let me rename this so this is my employees group i could see all these fields are now available we will add this to uh, our master measures okay let me go to master measure i will edit this i'll add this annual salary sales target to this okay so now we have a basic set of uh, groups ready so i have my measure i have orders calendar employee dimensions okay so some yeah so we got our uh, group so i could see this one field is excluded from the business logic extension right so we are not going to use this in our uh, logical model so that is ungrouped or excluded okay if i go to overview i could see one excluded nine hidden 50 visible okay fine so now let me go back to the ui and ask a few questions okay let orders delivered trend okay so i'm looking for um, all the orders um, which are delivered okay okay so if you notice here these orders are all uh, captured at the month year not at the date level okay the reason is if i go to my master calendar so here the month year is has been set as date okay and that is why it, it was taken by default okay so ideally it should be a month or a month year right not the date okay so let me change this to month and then this also cannot be a date so it should be a month okay so now we have order date over here which is a date okay but these things cannot be a date right so it's a month year and uh, year month now let me rerun the same query orders delivered trend okay so now we could see this orders are all captured by order id okay even now i still have a problem right so what i was requested is delivered trend okay but what we got is the order date instead what i was looking for is by delivery date okay i want to see the count of orders by delivery date okay but it took the order date by default this so somehow i have to make it understand okay when i ask for delivery so it should be looking into this delivery okay so to do that i will create one more group okay so i will ungroup all this uh, delivery related items and i will create a separate group for delivery let me create a new group called delivery i will add this all delivery related informations to that it's going to be a dimension create so now under packages i will create a package i'll say orders delivery combination so here i will add my measure so this is where i have the master measure order id so count of order id this i want to relate it to delivery okay so my master measure and delivery i'm creating it as a package here so these two are related that's the information i'm giving it to the bot chat bot okay now 
I ask orders delivered trend, then ideally it should pick the delivery date. Okay, so you could see the orders over delivery date. Okay, now so this is how the package helps us to uh, create relationships, right? So associations. So we are we can create multiple uh, packages and we can group uh, add multiple groups. So to create a package, we have to add groups within that. So that's how groups helps us. Okay, so we can create any number of groups. With the group, you can create packages so that it knows which two groups to be associated when you ask for a specific question. Okay, so hope we got some basic understanding about uh, field groups and packages. We will cover the remaining part in the next video. Please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification. Thanks for watching.